In order to solve the given linear equation, our ultimate goal is to isolate the variable on one side of the equation. And we have some guidelines in red that we can follow to help us solve this type of equation. The first thing you probably noticed though is there's fractions involved in this equation. So if we follow the guidelines, the first step would be to clear the fractions. So I'm actually going to solve this equation two ways. One way following these guidelines, and then a second way working with the given fractions. So if we want to clear the fractions, we want to multiply both sides of the equation by what would be the least common denominator, looking at our fractions with a denominator of five, three, and four, which is the same as determining the least common multiple of five, three, and four which is the smallest number divisible by five, three, and four, which would be sixty. So for this first method, we're going to multiply every term by sixty in order to eliminate the fractions. I do want to point out if you have a hard time determining the least common multiple of the denominators, we can just multiply the denominators together. Notice that five times three times four is sixty. Now this product isn't always the least common multiple, but it will give us a common multiple that can be used to clear the fractions. If it's not the least common multiple, that just means it does require additional simplifying. And since all of these products involve fractions, we're going to put the 60 over 1, like this. Looking at this first product, notice that 5 and 60 do share a common factor of 5. There's 1, 5, and 5, and 12, 5, and 60s. So the result here would be 12x over 1, or just 12x. Here, 60 and 3 have a common factor of 3. There's 1, 3, and 3, and 20, 3's, and 60. Again, notice the denominator is equal to 1, so we're left with just 20 times x, or 20x. So we have plus 20x equals. Here, 60 and 4 have a common factor of 4. There's 1, 4, and 4, and 15, 4's, and 60. So we're left with 15 times 3, which is equal to 45. Now we'll combine the like terms. Here we have 12x plus 20x. That would be 32x equals 45. And now to isolate x on the left side, we'll have to undo this multiplication, so we'll divide both sides by 32. So 32 divided by 32 would be 1. We have 1 times x, or just x, equals 45 over 32, which does not simplify. So we'll leave it as an improper fraction. If we wanted this as a mixed number, we'd have to divide 45 by 32. There's 1, 32, and 45 with a remainder of 13. So this would be equivalent to 1 and 13 30 seconds. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I also want to show how to solve this, leaving the equation in the current form and working with the fractions. If we wanted to combine these two x terms, we would have to obtain a common denominator. And if we have a denominator of five and three, the least common denominator would be 15. So we could multiply this first fraction by three over three, and the second fraction by five over five to obtain the common denominator of 15. So now we'd have three x over 15, plus five x over 15 equals three-fourths. And now we can go ahead and add these two fractions. We would have eight x over 15 equals three-fourths. And then to isolate the variable here, we could multiply by the reciprocal of eight-fifteenths, which would be 15 eighths. And this would give us one x, or just x, on the left side of the equation. So we'd multiply this by 15 over 8, again the reciprocal of 8 fifteenths, and then the same on this side of the equation. Notice how the 15 simplify to 1 as well as the 8's, so we are left with just x. And on the right side, again, nothing simplifies, so we'd have 45 over 32, which is the same solution we had using the first technique which of course is also equal to one and 13 30 seconds. So whichever method you decide to use, of course the solution would be the same. I hope this was helpful.